All right, so this is the Drock Circuit Tester, and it does uh, USB testing. And my main purpose for this is I wanted to be able to test different battery banks and certain things like that and see, you know, how efficient they really are. Um, so I'll just quickly show you here what comes in the box. You get a little thing here about rating them. You get the instruction manual. Um, and this is the, I think, 1098 model. So $10.98 on Amazon. So basically $11. And I've had a couple days here to play with it. And so far, I am really liking it. Um, it is, seems like the build quality is pretty good. I mean, for $11, it's actually better than I expected. Uh, so we'll go ahead and test this GRDE. And as you can see, 5 volts. And we should be at 2 amps on this one here and 1 amp on this side. So we'll put it in the 2 amp side. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And you can see we've got 5.05 volts. And let's go ahead and plug something into it. We'll plug in my... Uh, my Motorola here and we'll just see what happens so let's try this again here it's not booting up all right there we go And we can see it is kind of bouncing around a little bit there, but you know, it's about a half an amp roughly. So this is the default screen that it first pops onto when you are first starting up. Uh, there is a little button on the top. Let's see if I can get my phone out of here. There is a button on the top which will cycle between uh, capacitance. So this is going to actually tell you amp hours, milliamp hours, uh, so how much is going through. So if I want to see if these battery banks I'm purchasing, um, so this one's supposed to be 10,000 milliamps, this will tell me how much it's actually able to output, which is kind of cool. This is power. So this is in watts, which is basically your voltage times your amps. And then every screen after it, so that's three screens, it has a total of seven. The next four are strictly just uh, different things that it can alternate between. So it's just your, your main screen, so screen one and screen two, screen two and three, screen one and three. So basically you've got three different things it's going to read. And so this will be the screen I use most. Um, and it is kind of interesting that it's hopping around as much as it is. But it does charge, and it charges fairly well. And like I say, I'm not sure why it's dipping that much. Uh, the volts look good, but, you know, the amps are low and kind of bouncing around for this particular use. But it is cool. You can put another device at the bottom and plug that in and then this will read the overall for both devices and I don't know I just think this is really cool I mean it's a really neat way to see you know how much devices are actually producing or if you were to buy a cheap power strip for example or um, an adapter for a phone off of eBay and you want to see you know is it putting out the amps it needs to charge my phone and that's a nice easy way to tell you know yes or no so and one thing I'd just like to know too is now that it's been sitting for a while it has leveled off at about 1.03 amps um, and the voltage did drop slightly but uh, it's good to see everything kind of leveled off and uh, looks good so really like the way it's working as you can see here the drock doesn't take any power to run itself which is good to note no amps, no watts. Three, two, one. 